Hey Raindrops, now before we get into this video, I wanna to talk to you about joining my community. Yes, my YouTube community of subscribers. So make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. It helps build the channel and build our community. I love it when you guys comment and post. So remember, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. What are you smacking on, Heavenly? I got sunflower seeds. What's up, Carlos? How y'all feeling today? How's it going? You had a I'm good weekend? I'm trying to make it, baby. I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to eat right, exercise, get my life together, baby, and I'm doing good. What's going on with you? I am actually doing the same thing. I have put myself on a new diet. I'm you eating... always eating, eating healthy. I know, but I need to... I, I'm going to do, like, this detox for, like, maybe two weeks. I need to, like, clean out some toxins because I was eating, you know, restaurant, vegan food for, like, almost two months, and I need to, like, flush it out. And I'm on a watermelon diet. Watermelon's good. Yeah, watermelon's good. I bought a juicer. <clears throat> I am juicing. Okay. Yeah. So, Sounds good. So, you know, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll report back to you in a couple of weeks to tell you how that goes. But before we get started, we have to say happy anniversary to Kimmy and Maurice from Love and Marriage Huntsville. Kimmy and Maurice. Hey, Kimmy and Maurice, happy, <laughs> happy anniversary. How many years has it been? Um, I believe six. Six years. Oh, that's, they just, they, Chad, if they can get over that hump, they doing good then. Yeah, six years is good. Okay. Yes. So the thing is, heavily, I want to I wanna make sure I get it right because I don't, you know, Lord knows I don't want to get anything wrong, child, because I'm afraid of Kimmy. Kimmy, so, you're afraid of Kimmy. Okay. Very much so. I'm scared Kimmy's of her. nice. I met Kimmy. Kimmy's been, she was no, no. extremely nice. Kimmy is very nice. However, you know who I'm afraid of? That oh. girl that was talking all that shit that I had never seen before at the girls' trip. Ah! <laughs> she something else. She looked familiar or something. The big girl with the, with the did she have braids? And she just had a We're going to get into that. Everybody. We're going to get into that. Her name is Shanita Foster. She was on a show. Shanita, yeah. She looked like Football. a Shanita. And I'm scared of her. That's who I'm scared of. I'm scared of Shanita. Well, you're scared of Shanita. I'm scared yeah. of Kimmy. <laughs> so apparently Nelly. But uh, right. they've right. been married for six for six years. So before we get started, is there any advice as a relationship coach that you would like to offer up to Kimmy and Marie? Absolutely. Absolutely. Y'all look like y'all have a beautiful relationship. What I would say is, don't listen to anybody else, not even family members. Keep stuff between yourself and always respect one another. I know I always say I submit to my husband, but you guys submit to one another. If you have an agreement, don't walk away for three days like the other dude did. Stay there, work it out. Don't go to sleep angry. That's how you do it. You don't leave for three days because next time it's going to be six days. Then it's going to be a month. Then he ain't going to never come back. Don't do that. <laughs> Serious, my man don't never leave. You know what I'm saying? Like three days, then it'll be seven whole days, not a word from you. <laughs> not a Tony Braxton song. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna start that shit, okay? Okay, okay, okay. So Kim and Maurice, that is Dr. Heavenly's advice, who's been with her man for 30 years and married for 27. So you know she knows a little something, something. Okay. We have to get into this episode, Dr. Heavenly, which by the way, is one of my favorites this season. This girl's really? trip, this girl's trip has been a huge topic of conversation on social media. I want to ask you this first. I why are girls your trip... favorite? Because it's messy as shit. <laughs> is that why it's your favorite? Because it's a messy shit. Okay. I'm just going to say that. And it's messy about nothing. It's just messy, bitches. Just messy. It ain't even got no subject. It's just messy. <laughs> well, the thing is this, I feel like this episode really does do a good job at what happens on girls trips. So the thing is this, you've been on plenty of girls trips with your cast. Why are girl trips so complicated? Because there's a whole TikTok discussion, Dr. Heavily, about this episode and how this episode reflects how girls trips never go right. Why is that? 
because half them hoes really don't like each other. And to me, it's never fair. It's all about who you like and who you don't like. Like to me, if I like Melody, I'm going to say that she didn't fuck up them rooms on purpose. But if I don't like Melody, I'm like, look, she knew what room she put them in because Destiny, she clearly don't like because that's Martell friend. And she put them in. The so it's all about who you like and who you don't like. Nothing else. Nothing else. So do you think Melody purposefully did the rooms like that because she don't like some of the girls? No. I think that you did that rooms like that oh! because <laughs> well, she don't like I the can, girls. I can tell you. The moment. I can <laughs> tell you that didn't happen. I'm just fucking with you, baby. I'm just playing. Don't get all the... I'm just playing. I'm just <laughs> I got look, look, look. I got real nail on you, baby. <laughs> you did, you did, you did. But what do you what do you think do, about about the whole room assignment? I think that the rooms are always fun. I think that you know what? It's kind of like a slow dig at somebody. You know, you're gonna pick your people that you really like and give them the favorite room. And the people you don't like as much, they might be either unthought, not thought about, or they get the small room and shared in the back. It's some kind of way on these trips, they don't have eight rooms or however many rooms they need that are exactly the same. It's always you got something, and then you got the nice suite, and then you got somebody else, and then you got a small room at the bottom with twin beds. I don't know why that's always the case. I don't know if y'all just miss it when y'all set it up. I don't know. But the people that you least like get the worst rooms. That's just facts. The thing is this. So I want to bring this up. So obviously the way it works on reality shows is um, production obviously finds the house. And you're right. You will never find a house. I don't care if you have Jeff Bezos money. You're never going to find a singular home where each room is equal to each other. That's just not the reality of the situation. So <clears throat> these rooms were these rooms based on the house we found. Uh, but Melody 100% have full authority over the selection of the rooms because it is her trip. Now, there's a big debate on social media about whether or not Kimmy and Letitia deserved the room that Melody gave her friends that she came there with, which was Shanita and Lauren. There's a debate happening now where people feel like because Kimmy and Tisha have been on the show since season one and they're OGs, that by default, they should have been given the best rooms because they've been on the show as long as Melody. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. You know, I love Melody. She is Scorpio, but that know she gonna try to get a little dig in my whole thing is i was like who are these two other like what if i don't mind you bringing your friends i don't i don't but if this is an ensemble cast you do not give your friends a better damn room than you get the people on the cast come on melody now come on i love you dog millimeters don't get in my ass but i'm telling you the truth <laughs> I'm telling the truth. Now, Melody, you know you should have gave the rooms to Kimmy and Destiny before you gave it to them other hoes. We don't even know them. And I was wondering why they had so much to damn say. Not the other little girl, but the, the light-skinned lady. Why she had so much to say? Well, the my thing, whole thing is, you want me to, you, you, you being silent. I'm going to just say this and I'm going to take it back. You're talking. I'm being silent because no, you're talking. I'm Go ahead. Just saying, I tried to give you a chance, but I'm going to say this and then take it back. Whoever that girl is, what's her name? Shanita? Shakita? Yeah. Shanita. Shanita. Shanita had already been ran down on the game by Melody before she got there. So she already knew who side she was on. Y'all already know this shit is simple. Listen, <laughs> she already knew. You know what I'm saying? And then she gonna go at uh what's her name? Um Tisha. wife. Right, like that. Come on, girl. And and Melody knew she was a mouthpiece. That's why she brought her. So Melody could sit back. And let that girl speak for herself, Shanita. And ain't nobody really gonna say too much to Shanita because she'll whip all their asses up in there. <laughs> I think I would miss out. No, I wouldn't have been silent. I'd have had to handle that bitch like I had a contestant. I don't care if you can whip my ass. You're not finna pump me. You're not. I hope you got security because whatever she was saying, I was gonna give it back to her. Y'all not gonna pump me like that. I'm not gonna run. I'm not going to run. And if we do get to fight, and I might lose, and I done lost a few of them in my time, but <laughs> bitch, you going to know you was in a fight? You going to know? You going to remember? I'm just playing, Carlos. I'm joking. I ain't trying to fight that lady. But anyway, I was just like, why does she got so much to say? <laughs> well, no, the thing is this. I mean, look. Can you, can you see me? I can, yes. Oh, 
the thing is this, the thing is this, you know, Shan okay, so Shanita Foster used to be on a reality show called Football Wives. I knew, okay? I recognized her. I remember I saw her before, yeah. Yes, and she, she does a lot of philanthropy in Africa and in the States, and she hangs out with some of the socialites in reality television. So that's why you guys may have seen her before. Shanita, who, who I, I know Shanita, you know, um, from back in the day. Um, Shanita has a huge personality. Shanita Is she has, married? Shanita used to be married to a football player, but they're now divorced. So currently, Shanita is single. She's not married. Okay. Okay. I think Martell a hit. I'm just saying. Like, if y'all looking for another cast member, Martell will hit it. I think he like climbing, bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think she look like she tall, right? When I say big, she look like she oh tall, right? God. I'm hey. saying I know Martell. Martell a climb, huh? What you got to bring her on? Bring her on the show permanently because Shanita brings it, okay? Shanita bring that Shanita and Shanita just be talking. She she great for reality TV, right? She said, watch her. All the little girl said was, you know what? I could get along with everybody, you know, but I don't like them. I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? I can be cool. Watch her. Cause she done said y'all, she might not like none of y'all motherfuckers at the table. Look, the girl didn't say that. The girl just said, <laughs> I'm an adult and I can get along with people even if I'm not, they're not my favorite. Shanita took that and ran with it. That's how you do on reality TV. I like Shanita. Shanita. No. She's so pretty. I like Shanita. Shanita, my She's friend. No, Shanita's cool. I like Shanita a lot. She's cool. The thing is that Shanita has always had that personality. So I want the world to know, and, and this is me talking to you real heavily, that is who she's always been. She, she, she has a big personality. Now, let's have a real conversation. Shanita also has never saw a camera that she didn't like, right? So listen, when opportunity, what, what's it called, Heavenly? When... Is it when fate meets opportunity? I think yeah, I got it right. I could it. have butchered that. Shanita knew what time it was and said, I'm taking this opportunity and I'm running with it. But my maybe. thing is, Melody knew it. Melody knew who she was when she brought her there. Yeah, no. Everything Shanita has said, obviously, one or two things may have happened. Either she is a fan of the show and she, watched, she has watched every single episode or... Because she's Mel's friend, they may have had some private conversations. Because it's the latter. It's not the former. It's the latter. Trust it's the me. latter. Shanita was very opinionated when it came to Tisha. And I thought it was so interesting that she singled Tisha out in the way she was giving it to her. Not just once, but twice. Like the whole thing about watch... The thing that Shanita did that gave me pause was the fact that she's in the middle of eating her 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 dinner with her dinner fork. And Tisha sitting across from her, she whispers loudly to Melody in front of Tisha saying, watch her, pointing the fork in Tisha's direction. As Listen, if she wanted to get a reaction out of Tisha. She was waiting on Tisha at the door. My whole thing is she was waiting on Tisha to say any fucking thing. That's how they do it. You know what I'm saying? She already, this was her job and she came to do it. She came there for Melody, right? And she said, Melody, who you fuck with and who you don't? Similar to how Jocelyn came on our show and with Buffy and then Jocelyn and, and went in on Toya talking about who don't pay their fucking taxes? Do you think she watched our show just intricately or Buffy told her, bitch, this the bitch that's been fucking with me and she don't pay her taxes? They don't be like that people just watching the show. No, they got informal. What? And it was what she was waiting on Tisha to say anything. And when she said it, she went in on her and then she she did not stop. And I can't wait for Destiny. Is Destiny coming? Because I'm guaranteeing you, Shakita, Shakita. It's, 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 it's Shanita, not, not, not Shakita Shanita, the banana. Shanita, it's, Shanita, it's Shanita ass gonna jump on Destiny ass to guarantee how much you wanna bet. Well, <laughs> get in that ass. Cause, cause, cause Melody don't like Destiny either. Man, the actually Destiny probably the person that Melody don't like the worst, right? Well, yeah, yeah. They, they 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 don't speak. No, at the end Where of the day, Mel speaks to Tisha. She films with Tisha. She speaks to Kimmy. Mel films with the girls. She she has not filmed. Melody has not seen Destiny yet this season. Is Destiny coming on this trip? Yes. 
She is. But why didn't she ride with them? Because Melody didn't want her to ride. Melody no, got a because... lot of school up in here. I'm just saying, I love it, but no, 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 that has no, 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 okay, no, no. whatever. That had nothing to do with it. Um, obviously, um, so Destiny has a young child, so it was a scheduling thing, but she comes the following the next day. Now, I wanted them on the bus together. That's what I need. Can they can they she ride back with them? Oh, you're gonna see. So next week's episode, you're gonna see Destiny and Melody have an all-out conversation. And where what Shakita got to say about it? First of all, it's not Shakita like the banana, it's Shanita. Say, say, Chad. <laughs> I don't want no smoke with Shanita. Shanita, I love you. You're so beautiful. Shanita, Shanita, Shanita. I like Shanita. Keep her, him. Melody need a friend because she don't like none of these bitches, really. So keep Shanita and let her date Martel. Well, no, she date Martel. Melody ain't gonna fuck with her no more. That's why I was like, I don't think she no, I don't think that'll I don't think that'll fly. No, no, we gotta get her somebody else. Who can she date? Hell, so Moses you, you for the streets. Let's let's put Moses out there. Moses oh, is married. Now. Oh no no, I forget. I forget. Who's single? Uh, what's the dude name? What's uh, what you call it? Man name? He's single. Marquez. Well, I mean, I ain't think about that, but yeah, Marquez to do it. Marte Marquez Marquez. I could talk to Marquez. I don't talk to his grandmama and everything. I just don't <laughs> put Shakita down. And now y'all got a whole nother couple down there. You know what I'm saying? What was funny is um, Shanita, I believe she still may be in Atlanta, and Marquez is in Atlanta. Ooh, yeah. I hope Shakita. I ain't said nothing bad about Shakita because I don't need to meet Shakita in the streets. <laughs> Shakita, my friend, and she just, she just, she's just Melody's friend. And I love Scorpios. I love Melody. I love Shakita. <laughs> and I love everybody. I love everybody. I love Shakita. I can't take that. I mean, she, Keep fucking it up because you done messed me up. You call you must have called a Shakita first. Shakita I never called a Shakita. I have I have no Shanita for years. Shanita. Okay, Shanita. Shanita. What's Shanita last name? Foster. Okay, I'm gonna call her Miss Foster because I Shanita Foster. Okay. I know her though. I've seen that bitch before. I know her somewhere. She somewhere. no, she is she's I would say. Uh, she's also considered to be an Atlanta socialite. I mean, Shanita... probably I met her then. I probably oh, met you, her somewhere. You have definitely met Shanita. Shanita okay. is always, um, listen, Shanita is always at the philanthropy events, social events. She's a, and like I said, she's always in Africa um, doing philanthropy work. So she, she's a socialite. She's, she's okay. always around. You have okay. definitely seen Shanita. So what happened with Nell and um and Kimmy, um Kimmy? Okay, so okay, so obviously, look, I was surprised that Kimmy and Tisha, not 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 Kimmy, Tisha was hurt. Like Tisha was emotionally hurt by it, and Tisha said the room selection is indicative in how Mel feels about us. Like, she don't like us, pretty much, right? I'm paraphrasing. Um, and she's like, you know what? That And, and she was hurt by that. the that. problem Tisha don't get is anybody could have got that room because Mel don't like none of y'all asses. <laughs> don't be hurt. Who do you think on this show Mel likes the most? The only person I can think of that she feel with, but she probably don't know her, is Sunny, right? Sunny's new. Mm -hmm. She fell with Sunny. She went shopping with Sunny. She gave Sunny heads up. She don't know Sunny. She know these other hoes and she don't like them. So she probably likes Sunny the best, probably. What do you think about the dynamic between Melody and Miss Nell? Because that's where the 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 argument between Kimmy and Nell happened. So Miss Nell and Mel were friends for years. When Melody and Martel were married, Melody and Martel would get advice. From Nell and Chris Fletcher because Chris Fletcher cheated on Nell um, when they were, you know, back in the day. And Melody and Nell would have conversations over the phone and, and talk to each other, vice versa. Melody gave Nell a room, but it didn't have a card on it. Nell, for some reason, took offense to not having a card because she felt like you forgot about me. Right? So that was her angst. You forgot to place a name card on my bed. 
So when she went out and saw Melody talking to Kimmy and Tisha, Nell told Kimmy and Tisha to suck it up, like, like what she did. And baby, the way Kimberly, who I'm scared of, the way Kimberly stepped to Nell is the reason why I'm like, when it comes to Kimmy, Kimmy, whatever you want, girl, get it. Because I don't want no smoking from Kimmy. I know that's right. First of all, let's just jump back, okay? Why you go to get advice from somebody because they man cheated on him? First of all, number one, why would I go to advice to somebody who man cheated on Okay, so he cheated on me, so I'm going to teach you how to deal with a cheater. No. No, that just is like we trauma bonded. We bonded because my man cheated on me. But yo, now, okay, so did Chris cheat like had a baby or did Chris cheat no. for like five years or did Chris cheat? How did Chris cheat? Did he respectfully cheat? Cheating is wrong. It ain't never good. But mm -hmm. I'm never going to talk to another bitch about my man cheating. If my man, you know what I'm saying? Like your man cheated on you. What, you know what I mean? Let's bond over that because <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> How did he cheat? And what but, did you but, say? But, but, but this is where, okay, I'm not married, so I really, I really am asking this innocently. The way I've been told that married couples should not get advice from single people, right? That married couples should get advice from other married couples. If, if, if I'm a wife who experienced infidelity, and I know another wife who experienced infidelity, and they work through it, Shouldn't I get advice from that wife who went through it and and was able to like deal, and was able to deal with it to the point where they're still married? I'm gonna say it and I'm gonna take it back. That's one way to look at it. And I love Melody, you know I love Melody, but I'm gonna try to talk to a bitch that probably had a good relationship that their husband didn't have to cheat. I know I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay, I'm playing. Okay, yes, yes, I would talk to somebody maybe, but I I I just mm -mm. that's just like me saying okay. I'm I'm 15 and I'm pregnant. Let me go talk to another 15 year old that's pregnant. We just finna bond because misery loves company. It ain't like I'm she's teaching me shit. Cause at the end of the day, I'ma stay if I want to stay and I'ma leave if I want to leave. So, okay, but I guess yes, let's be friends. But who thought of the friendship? Was it Mel? Uh, Martel said go be her friend because you know she cheated too, and y'all need to just learn how to deal with it <laughs> no. together and bond over it and get together. You know what I'm saying? and have some drinks and talk about, girl, he cheated on me like this, and he cheated on me like that, but girl, I'm going to stay. No. Mm -mm. Now, from my understanding, they, I, I believe Chris and um, Martel were friends first, and you know how it goes, then the wives become friends. Mm -hmm. So, uh, both of them they... Well, like to me, all the men cheat in Huntsville. Is that true? It's always an exception. <laughs> Well, all them dudes are like they hoes, right? I mean, look, bigs have been alleged, right? <laughs> and, and, and I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna take it back. Y'all trying to portray like um treat some man so good, but the man said that he, he had a woman for 10 years and was laying up in Trisha's bed and the bitch found her. He wasn't even smart enough to turn his GPS, his his find my iPhone off. The girl came to the house and Trisha let him in. And the man and the girl told him he had to get out. And my paraphrasing allegedly, that's what he said. That's what I got at the conversation. And yes, that's how that's he, he ended up moving in the house that Marquez paid for $5,000 for. I don't know who lying. I don't. <laughs> but to me, a cheater is a cheater is a cheater is a cheater. So you in this man 10 years, you thinking they probably got something real after 10 years, right? He found a new bitch that he found. And he talking about eating her coochie through the DM. Wait, who you talking? Wait, are we talking, talking about, about Trisha Man? <laughs> Kid. With the check check with the chocolate bars and talking about he want to eat a coochie through the thing, but he got a woman for 10 years. Y'all in Huntsville need to stop all of this shit. Stop it. Because if what, what let me hush. I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, come on, trauma bond and everybody. She she could have talked to anybody. Man could have talked to anybody in Huntsville about who she who man cheated on him. She ain't had to go to Nail and Chris. She could have went to <laughs> <laughs> Everybody at the damn table. <laughs> I need for you to tell me. Tell me your... if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, tell me. I'm I'm wrong not, I, listen, I'm not married, so I I respectfully um I, I respectfully listen to people <laughs> give married couples of I, I I'm not married, so I, I I can't help you, sis. 
I'm not the one to talk to about infidelity. I'm not, I mean, I'm not. Yeah, well, all y'all that's watching Missy Monday's dick this on Carlos King show, don't call me him. Don't call ah! me <laughs> I'm just playing. I don't know this shit. I just look at a few damn clips and just, uh, we just having fun. I don't know nothing. So Why are you giving a sure. disclaimer? Because I, I got to. Don't have your grandmama call me. Don't have your daddy call me. Don't have your ex call me. I don't want it here. I'm just playing. I don't know shit, okay? Now, this she, is did part, not, she didn't give Shakita the, the, the information before she got there. She didn't. And Melody chose the rooms because she thought that would be best that she, she, Shanita and everybody got a better room than Kimmy and, and, and Tisha. <laughs> I'm saying I do reality TV. I already see through all of this. Bullshit, That's why so. you're the perfect person to talk to about this. That's why I love your insight. So when you saw Nell and Kimmy get into it, what were you thinking in that moment? I felt like I really like, I like both of them. I like Kimmy yeah. and I like Nell. But my thing is if Kimmy got mad, she had a reason to be mad. Nell, 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 I'm going to say, I love Nell, but Nell kind of like sweet tea in the rain. You coming in with the wrong tone, bitch. You got, and I'm guilty of that too. But I understand. Give me, don't come in here talking about suck it up, bitch. You ain't got nothing to do with the conversation. I'm just saying. I'm yeah. feeling Kimmy on that. And I could see how Kimmy got upset about it. Suck it up. Yeah, I think it was. The thing is this. Nell is known to be like Dr. Simone. You know, we call her surround sound Simone. Because Simone projects, right? But Simone be loud, strong, and wrong. Is ah! Simone? Simone don't know what the fuck she be thinking about. She just start hollering, and you just don't even want to argue with her. So you just be quiet. It don't mean she right. Okay, so the thing with with um the thing with Miss Nell is the fact that she, her voice projects a lot, right? So with that being said, when she said "suck it up." That's why Kim was like, you need to calm down because, first of all, this has nothing to do with you. Secondly, you're not going to talk to me that way because this is the thing. Kimmy, obviously, they're all grown, but Kimmy has always prided herself. I'm like, I'm a grown-ass woman. I talk, I talk grown, and I act grown. And I think Nell's bravado was disturbing Kimmy's peace. I'm not... I'm. I'm not I'm not biased. I like both of them. Yeah. I really think that Kimmy was upset because of the tone. You don't come in the conversation, you don't know nothing about it and say, suck it up. That's my thought. Yeah. That's me. That's the side I'm on. Okay. Some, maybe I'm missing something on hell. I could be. No, no. I definitely think that was the main thing about that is the fact that it was the tone. I so did they have issues before that? Like, do they not like each other? They haven't had any issues that I've seen <laughs> on the show. Do they like each other? That's a very good question. Um, because we know male don't like none of them, but do they <laughs> like each other? <laughs> I'm playing. I don't know. Listen, I'm just joking, y'all. Please leave me alone. <laughs> do Kim me... parties? I be joking, but I be telling the truth. That's the problem, and I try to keep it up. <laughs> Like we gonna get together because your man cheated on you, girl, and we gonna be friends because both our husbands cheat. Bitch, you could have been friends with any bitch on that table. <laughs> I'm in her. The problem is, oh, Carlos, we these are people real lives and we playing. That's the oh, we had first of all. This you is. laughing, bitch. You laughing. Oh, oh, because I have a funny bow. I can't laugh. Mm -mm. I have a funny you need, bone. You need to tell me, Dr. Heavenly, you're wrong, and you need to stop this right now. You're wrong about the fact that as a married woman, you think if a wife is being cheated on, she should talk to somebody else. I, I, I'm going to tell you that. ain't no reason that. to bond. Like, okay, your man cheated, my man cheated, so let's talk to them. Cause, and now I, I hope Martell didn't in, in, in encourage it. You know what? I know I cheated, baby. I know I cheated. But you know what? I got a friend. He I, he cheated too. So you need to go meet his wife and y'all need to talk it through. That's what you're giving me. Well, that, I think these are good questions that, you know, should be brought up and, and asked because I don't know the basis of what their friendship started on, right? So these are some good questions to ask and I'll make sure to ask them. So I want to talk about Sonny really quickly, right? Because something that 
she talked about obviously affects a lot of women. Um, according to the World Health Organization, one out of six women um, suffers through infertility, right? And Sunny brought that up on, on this most recent episode, that that's what she was going through um, and, 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 and dealing with, you know, as, as, as a woman of a particular age. And I don't know how old Sunny is. So I don't want to, you know, mention her age just by saying a number. Um, but I, I, I'll say this much. I appreciated Sunny for revealing that because, look, people are seeing Sunny as one way. You know, people see her as like this woman who stole someone's man, which we'll get to that in a second because that also came up at dinner. But I like the fact that she was able to express what her challenges are dealing with infertility, especially because a lot of people can relate to it. And I, I like the fact that there was a softer side shown to her. Yeah, my heart goes out to Sunny. Um, that's unfortunate. And you know what? Keep trying. I mean, if God has something for you, he has it for you. And I think that she is a beautiful girl and she'll be okay. Now, we could talk about... um. And and I don't want to sound like I'm I'm putting that to the side because I'm really serious when I say I'm yeah, sorry that happened to her. But mm -hmm. I also want to talk about y'all keep saying Sunny took that girl man. I like Destiny and I like everybody who I met. Like I'm gonna sit here with Trish. I like Trish. I like mm -hmm. Moses. I like I mean I ain't met Moses. I mean what's the name Ken? And I like Marquez and everybody got their side of the story and all of these are great. You people, like right? Melody. You like Martel. Oh, yeah, I love everybody. Yeah. But my whole thing is, I don't know Sonny. I've never met Sonny. But Sonny can't take no damn man that don't that, 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 that want to be taken. Y'all yeah. not going to put all this on Sonny. And I know I've been joking and no, 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 no. I do think that Destiny thought that bitch was her friend. I really do. But at the end of the day, like the girl said, y'all didn't be talking to the dude. But my problem with the whole thing is like, I hate to say it, you know what I'm saying, and take it back. I'm going to take it back because you're going to tell me to take it back. But you get them how you, you lose them how you get them. Watch, 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 watch how this plays out for her. Watch how it plays out for Trisha, the woman that had the man for 10 years. And then he, he over there at Trisha house and knowing that Trisha's still married. God don't like ugly. He just don't. And my only problem with Sonny was because I feel like that was Moses' problem, right? My only problem with Sonny was, and you know what? I ain't even going to say I might have been the same. I might have been saying, bitch, you know what? That's your man. It's my man. Now, fuck you. But I just feel like she could have been a little softer with Destiny mm -hmm. with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? She came in like, bitch, that's my man. You know what I'm saying? It seemed mm -hmm. to me, which we only see seven minutes of mm -hmm. a two-hour scene, Mm -hmm. It seemed to me she was a bit harsh. You can't take no man that don't want to be taken. You can't blame the bitch. And you got to also put out there that the man was not married. Okay? Right. He wasn't. So we're right. going to pray all through that, Sonny. You all right with me. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I think you could have been nicer. But it's unfortunate what happened. But everybody got their side. And I think that everybody's good people. I like Kimmy. I like Nell. I like Trisha. I like um her, they men. Mm -hmm. Martel is a damn fool, but I like him. You know what I'm saying? He's funny. He's fun. The thing I love about Martel is he don't give a damn. But that's the same reason I do like Mel. Mel give a damn. She's saying, fuck all y'all. <laughs> and you included. But I'm joking. I'm joking. But I like all the people. I'm just joking. But my whole thing is, yeah, Nick Sonny could have took nobody, man, that couldn't have. You know what I'm saying? Unless he wanted to be taken. I see that. Well, I think that's the thing, too. And, and I'm glad you brought that up because I think two things happen, right? I strongly believe at the end of the day, just like how we talked about last week, right? When you first met Dr. Damon um, while y'all were both in med school, right? You was in dental school. He was in med school. And how you said he had a girlfriend. Uh, I don't know her, and but I don't I know how. Know the whole at all, like it's scruples with things, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. For example, yeah. I told you the story of my friend Carolyn Mo. Carolyn Mo. Well, I can't tell that story. Anyway, um, if it was me and Carolyn Mo was dating some dude, right? And I said I thought about it. He started to start talking to me, right? I would go straight to Carolyn, and I'd be like, Carolyn, we cool or whatever. What's up with this dude? You know what I'm yeah. saying? From the beginning, that's the type of bitch I've always been. And that's what I was getting at too. Yes, I think the right because the difference is this. Because I, I want, I always like to relate it to what you and I go through. Right, when you saw Doctor Damon, you said that's my husband. 
That that's my husband, and it is what it is. That's my man, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get him. He had a girlfriend. At the end of the day, he wasn't married, and Dr. Damon is a grown ass man who made a choice. He made a choice to end a relationship to be with you, and y'all been together for thirty years. And I didn't even say he ended it to be with me. I think it was gonna end anyway. Well, I that's just, I mean I, I can spread it along. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but. So that's the difference here. You had no relationship, loyalty. I you owe this girl nothing. You mm -hmm. Y'all not friends. Mm -hmm. I think the difference with the Destiny and, and Sunny thing is at the end of the day, whether or not you guys were friends, you guys had a relationship. A relationship of professionalism. A relationship of producer, cast member. Whether or not you guys are friends or not, there's there, there's history there. I agree with you about your friend Caroline, Carolyn, right? I think, I think at the end of the day, if Sonny would have said, yo, I met Moses, I'm feeling him. I don't know where this is gonna go, but I, I'm I'm pursuing dating him, right? And 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 to me, and this is and this is how I honestly feel. And quote me on this: at, if Sonny would have said that at the end of the day, Sonny could walk around saying, "I gave her heads up." That's and 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 and, and to me, that would be the end of it. And However, remember this conversation when Mary the Medicine come on. I'm gonna tell you a thousand times: I gave a bitch heads up. Don't talk to me. I can't wait. Okay, so I, I think <laughs> at the end of the day, when you give somebody a heads up, you done your part and you owe that person no follow-up. You don't owe them, hey, it's getting serious, we're engaged. Hey, we're getting married on October 4th. Hey, we're about to like go through in, in, in vitro. You don't owe that person nothing after that. So I, I, think, I think the reason why a lot of people have a problem with it is because of that, number one. And I think number two, Sunny, when she first started talking about it, came across so defensive. And in and, 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 and Sunny's defense, this is what she said why. She said the reason why she was defensive, because she said on my podcast, she said the reason why she came across so strong in the beginning is because she, she said Destiny did a bunch of interviews prior to that talking about it. And she felt that Carlos obviously brought her on to the podcast to talk about it. And it was her first time addressing it. Right? No, but she acted that way on the show. Didn't she before the podcast? Well, no, no, no. That, I'm saying that podcast, my live podcast with Melody. My live podcast with Melody was her first time addressing it. And she... So, oh! So she's saying that all this was built up because she was saying Destiny did interviews prior talking about it. And she wanted to defend herself. Plus, oh. plus, plus, we were on a we were live in a room full of people. And you know how it is when you're when people are talking back to you. Because people were talking back to Sonny. Shut up, Sonny. Messy. And obviously, she felt the need to, of course, defend herself even further. So again, that's how Sonny felt. And I think that's the reason why. Um People feel like she came across too strong. Those are her reasons why she says she came across too strong. All right, I understand that, and that sounds really good, but I still do think that she felt bad about it. And secondly, I will always say, if she knew that girl, whether they were best friends or not, they knew each other, she should have she should have went to her like I went to Carolyn. Carolyn, do you know this dude? What's up with him? And then she, Carolyn would have been a real bitch like she was. She was like, yeah, I used to talk to him. We did not have sex. So, yeah, you good. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's all mm -hmm. I wanted to know, bitch. So we we good. We Gucci. She should have done that. But anyway, I understand why she was so upset about it. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, she should have gave the girl a heads up. That's my thought. I'm done with it. Do you think these girls will ever give Sunny a chance? Which girls? <laughs> Kimmy, Tisha, Sun, um, Stormy, um, T um, Trisha. It's so funny that you asked that. Because I will go again that people go with who they friends with. Because Martel did all this shit to uh to to uh Melody. Melody. And 
all of them still cool with Martell. Probably never did fall out with him, right? Because they like Martell. That was his friend, whatever, whatever. It's all about who they like and who they don't like. So, Sonny, if they like Destiny, they're not going to like Sonny. Um, Trisha is, is, is indicative of that. She must like Destiny. Mm -hmm. If I like Destiny, I'm not, this is the same thing with Quad. If you come in and Quad is my friend, I definitely cannot be Sweet T's best friend. I can't be you, boo. That's my friend. I've been knowing that bitch 10, 12 years. How you coming in here Quad mad about something and it may not even be you just because you in it. I don't fuck with you. That's the kind of friend I am. Maybe call it crazy. Call it uh, immature. But what I'm saying is I want a friend like me. <laughs> No, listen, that is the case because they like destiny. They like destiny. And you brought up a good point. You brought up a good point. And, and, I, and, and I really want to get your thoughts on this. You just said that it's obvious these ladies like destiny. And because they like destiny, they can't fool so heavy with Sonny. I mean, with, with Sonny, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you also said that Martel obviously had an outside baby while he was married to Melody, which is the which to me, this is me, this is Carlos King speaking, which is probably one of the most hurtful things that could happen to marriage. You know, one of there's many other things that could happen, but to me, that's After one five of five long years of being with this brother Tucker, and I gave him four babies, and he gave well, him no, they were together for no, they were married for like 14 years. No, I'm saying she gave him four. Four babies. Four but she, he, they, they said at some point that he was dating her for five years. Oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. They were yeah. together 14. Yeah. Uh, and you've been dating this bitch for five years. I found out about it. You stopped dating him. You started back. This is hurtful. Everybody in the world knows you broke my soul. I, I I, had another baby with you after this and find out that you got another bitch break at the same damn time. At the same damn time. And that ain't even enough. Now, don't you know how big that we are as Scorpio women and we bad bitches and you looking at this bitch that don't even even write a candle in my eyes and her eyes. I'm talking about her eyes, not man. To me, you found this less than bitch, okay? And then not only that, you allow that bitch to disrespect me publicly, motherfucker. Oh, I'm feeling red. I'm feeling. That's why I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you. And I don't fuck with you. And I never will. That's Melody. You got to understand her side. Right, wrong, or indifferent. You got to understand it and you got to respect it. So you do believe that because the other ladies are still friends with Martell, that Melody will never be friends with them? Never, ever. Never, ever. Never, ever. Never. Mm -mm. What do you think those ladies should have done then? As, 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 speaking as a Scorpio woman, what, what, do, you, what do you think they, they could have or should have done? What would you have done in that in that situation? If let me ask you this, because a lot of people will say, a lot of people say this, um, Emily, you were still friends with Dr. G. Was that? How did you meet Sweet T? Jackie had a 50 shades of pink. Okay. Golfing event. And Dr. G, now mind you, I ain't never said nothing to Dr. G too much or nothing. I, the, you know, the person, I, and it's ironic, I don't talk to none of the husbands. I don't. I talk to Cecil, you know, you know, and, you know, hey, I, I don't talk to Eugene. I, I talk to Curtis maybe the most because I talk to Jackie the most. But I talk to King more than I've talked to all of them dudes. And he just got here. And, and my for my point, audience, King is Quaz new man. Quad's new man. Listen, no. so well, I said all that to say this. What was the question? What should, in, in your opinion, what should Kimmy and Tisha have done? Because that's a difficult question. Because if, if Martel was if their husband's friends first, and they know their friends gonna be husband, and I think husband and wife are one, there wasn't too much they could have done. The whole thing is for me, Melody need a different group of friends. And I've said that from the very beginning. I don't know if they could have done anything differently. Maybe they could have sympathized more. I don't know. But at the end of the day, they weren't going to fall out with Martell. They like Martell. 
Yeah, I like Markel, and I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I hate to admit it, but it's something about him that is friendly, that's fun, that's funny, and I'm just watching y'all show. It's funny to see him smile and, and do the little shit he do. You know what I'm saying? You like him. He's a likable guy. Not to marry him? No. Boyfriend? No. No. But he's a likable guy. I see why they still deal with him. If I was male, I don't like that y'all deal with him, and I can't stop it. So that's why I said, love and marriage Atlanta. And let Melody <laughs> head it and, and give her a dating app and some dates and, and she meet a ninja over here. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. She ain't gonna never like them. You th oh wait, you think she will never like them? <laughs> that I'm really a Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio ass Phaedra. She'll ever like our asses again. <laughs> <laughs> Forever, ever. I'm talking about not off no soft shit. I can I can forgive like all this shit just happened with delay. I can forgive, but if you if you if 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 my man, I still don't fuck with Mariah for lying on my man to this day. So <laughs> you, so so the, I think the example. So you will never be friends with Mar with Mariah. Ever? No. Why would I be? You lied on my man, and your man was the one fuck around. That's what I don't get about y'all. Y'all hope be trying to extend the shit that y'all man doing. I ain't talking about contests or nobody else. <laughs> get me out of this. I need to get up out of this. This is how I get in trouble. This shit is lying. I got to go, Carlo, cuz I'm okay, 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 okay. I'm moving. Okay, listen. And in, in, in the final words is, is this. Is this is this. <clears throat> What do you hope at the end of the day happens with the friendships of these ladies? I you hope know? that you get Melody some old goddamn friends. Now you can keep Shakita <laughs> over there with Melody because Shakita is a bombshell. She got a whole show by her goddamn self. Keep Shakita, Shakita. What's her name? Anita. Shanita. Keep Shanita. Get her a man. Get Melody, in fact, fuck her, change the whole fucking show to find them hoes some men outside of Huntsville with some new freaking friends because Melody is sick of y'all asses and she don't want to be there. Put her as executive producer over some more shit, tit for tat. And get her away from these damn people because she don't like them and she ain't going to never like them. <laughs> and then now you got Martell that ain't filming with Melody, so now you cutting his money, which go to the four damn kids <laughs> and the outside damn baby, because I know y'all get paid per episode. I know it, because that's the only smart way to do it. So, I said I was going to say this. <laughs> you a messy bitch. You pick them room. I'm just joking, Carlos. Don't fall out with me. I'm just joking now. Y'all got you and I want everyone. First of all, public service announcement. She and I won't ever fall out. We are too, first of all, we have too much of a great friendship and understanding, and we actually talk outside of this. <laughs> and I've learned so much from you. I would know everything I know about the production on all the stuff I know. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot by just fucking with you. I've learned it by osmosis. I know a lot that probably a lot of other uh, cast people don't know. I know a lot. Yeah. I really do. I understand all of this shit now. No, and that's why we love each other and I love you. I got to see you, Sonny. <laughs> I need my teeth clean. Okay, so look, next week's episode, Heavily, is going to be a doozy because Destiny arrives on the trip and Destiny and Melody have not seen each other at all this season. It's the first time they're going to see each other and Heavily, a lot gets revealed. I bet it does. I'm excited to see him. I like okay. Destiny. I like Sunny. I like Mel. I like all of them. But I understand the dynamics between all of them. And I'm going to say I'm on Kimmy's side because I like Kimmy too. I think Kimmy is the most readable. If y'all make Kimmy mad, y'all wrong for that shit, okay? <laughs> That's all I got to say about it. All right, so we'll catch y'all next week for the second part of the girls' trip. We'll see y'all soon. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Have a good time. <laughs> Bye-bye.